some lampy airline on Kissa. <laughs> I said that my favorite animal is a cat. What's the cat? Well, Kissa. Oh, that was the Kissa. I was like, is it pizza? <laughs> is it my favorite food? Hi. Hi. No. No. I've tried and it didn't work. I think I can recognize maybe like one or two words. <laughs> so maybe if I'm lucky, I can get the cut, like yeah, kind of the topic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good luck. So I think uh, in Swedish, Danish, and Norwegian, there is quite a lot of similarities. And then we in Finnish have a lot of loan words from Sweden. So maybe in that sense. Mm. But the grammar is quite different in Finnish compared to the other Nordic languages. Yeah, I think maybe that's where we are more similar, maybe. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I think grammatically we're very similar, but yeah. it may sound a little bit differently. And then for mm. Finnish grammatically, it's like I have no clue <laughs> what they yes. say. But then when they pronounce it, some of the words you may be able to pick up because it's the same as Swedish, which is yeah. the same then as Danish and Norwegian. Mm -hmm. So if we just like listen carefully for those words, we may be able to get a little <laughs> bit. I don't think I will be able to understand unless she says very English-ish words, or possibly words that sounds more like Swedish. So the first word is paper. Minola on paper. How do you spell paper? Okay, so it's just one. Yeah, it's the paper. Yeah. So it's written and written is the same as the paper in English, but we just added an I. Mm. So it's papper. Okay. Dad paper. <laughs> no, because oh my god. In Norwegian, we have like dad is like papa, and then she was like doing like this, this, and I'm like maybe she's talking about like oh, my dad, I think you're my, dad. Using my yeah. dad. How did you guess? That it's paper. In Norwegian, it's papir. Mm -hmm. And then I know from like, she adds a little bit of flair. So then I'm like, if I say it in Norwegian way with a flair, I'm like, papiri. <laughs> then it kind of like, it, it could make sense, yeah. Honestly, it just looks like the same word as the Danish word, which is similar to Norwegian papir. And I was just kind of guessing. For me, I think it was previously, you've been saying words that's like Swedish, but you add. And in Swedish, that is paper with an I in the end. So the second word is ghetto. Absolutely no idea. May like a VP has a ghetto. Can you say that okay. again? May like a VP has a ghetto. Quite close. Oof. No. Oh, why did you think this? Why? Because of the K and in Danish it's like cat K A T and I just thought maybe it's cat. It's like very similar in a way, but also different from the Swedish word. I guess the cat, because of the sentence you said in Finnish, sounded like it was somebody's thing. Like this belongs to somebody yeah. or this like... And that's why I'm like, it's somebody they have in their family and their, yeah. or in their home, yeah. But you, you think you have the right answer? I think only because I heard it before, but I don't know if I'm right. Is it dog? No. Oh. You were in right direction, but could you guess if I say that there is a Norwegian song about this? Din, 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 din. A fox? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's a fox. Oh my god. <sighs> that was very hard. How do you guys say fox? Rev. Rev. We say rev. Same, I think it's the same spelling, but just the different yeah. pronunciation. Yeah. The next word is it is similar to Swedish. Okay, show your answers. I don't know. What did you guys think? Koala? Koala. Why did you think so? How do you say cola in the drink? How do you say Cookies. Cookies. <laughs> well, is in cola is wrong. Because of like how you pronounce it in Norwegian, you say kula. Oh. And then cola. I was contemplating whether I I should do cola or colleagues, but I have no idea what Swedish where you think that sounds like. <laughs> I just tried to see the like similarities of these two words, so I was like, maybe it's koala, I don't know. <laughs> so what this actually means is school. So how do you guys say school in your languages? School. Skola. School. It's not even close. School. Well, you don't have like the case on. You just don't have like the S sound. I think it's similar. Cool. <laughs> it is like skip the like most important part of the word, and then you're like. Uh. 
Moi kaikki, mun nimi on Julia ja mä oon Suomesta. Mun lempieläin on kissa. Hauska tutustua. Okay, and show your answers. Please explain me what you heard about me. I heard there was like a hello or a good day part and then her name was Julia. And then I heard something, I know that you pronounce that you're from Finland in a different way. In Finland, you don't, you don't say Finland, you say so me. Oh so I heard that. Ah. So then I'm like, then she's saying she's from Finland. Oh, <laughs> and then there was something like the kippa, I don't know what that was. My guess was my degree, mm. no clue. And then it was like a nice to meet you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I got the Julia because she, she said her name. So I was like, okay, mm. she's introducing her name. Mm. And then I kind of guessed maybe the, to the tone of her voice was as if she maybe was saying how old she was. <laughs> but I'm not sure because I don't know any numbers mm. in Finnish. And then the end part was like also the tone of it sounded mm. like nice to me. I think, again, like just like you said, the tone of the way she started. <laughs> Her like sentences was like, okay, I am, my name is like that. So it was like an introduction in that way. The rest, I was just, I did not know the vocabulary. <laughs> I just couldn't get any idea of what that was. Norway was most right because I did say, hello, I'm Julia from Finland. I didn't talk about my degree. I said that my favorite animal is a cat. Uh, <laughs> my what? favorite animal? What, what was the cat? Kissa. Oh, that was the kissa. I was like, is it pizza? <laughs> I'm eating pizza, I don't know. Pizza. Um. So next I'm gonna talk about my hobbies. Are you ready? Mun harrastuksiin kuuluu matkustaminen, nyrkkeily ja kuvien ottaminen. That was three things? Yes. <laughs> I didn't understand one word. Oh. Okay. Can you explain? To me, what you heard? So the first one I heard in Norwegian we say mat as food. Um, so I kind of like that could have been part of the first sentence. Uh -huh. So it could be something to do with cooking, hiking, walking, no clue. And then the last one, I was assuming it was like hanging out with my friends or being with people or being with mm -hmm. something. I don't know, I just kind of guessed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I was thinking about cooking. But I don't know, you like have a more baking vibe over you. <laughs> Honestly, I felt like the baking thing too. Like for me, I, I don't know if I'm right, but when you started your sentence, I thought maybe you talked about when I have like free time or when mm. I'm free kind of. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. And like I like to cook, either cook or bake. And something with drawing. Very interesting. Apparently I look like I cook, I don't really. But yeah. apparently uh, I look like a baking person. But um, <laughs> what, what I actually said was my hobbies are traveling, boxing, boxing, and, boxing. <laughs> and taking pictures, photographing. How do you yeah. say that? Taking pictures. How do you say boxing then in Finnish? She, oh that's the my. crazy part, it's like, I don't, I don't, you just say boxing. Oh, you say boxing? We don't, we don't Box? say like Just boxing. Yeah, yeah. We don't really say like, Boxa. we haven't made our own yes, word for boxing. Yeah, yeah we, we did. Because it's a loan either. word, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh. boxing, boxing. Next, you have to guess which animal I'm talking about. Tää eläin on ihmisen paras ystävä. Tosi söpöjä. Niiden kanssa pitää viettää paljon aikaa. Ja mä luulen, että suurin osa ihmistä tykkää niistä. Ei oo kissa. Okay. <laughs> Show your answers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can I ask uh, why? Why did you think so? I heard something with us or something. So I thought about the sea. I, I didn't understand anything else. So I thought, okay, maybe it's something in the water. I thought I picked up something like outside, outdoors, and then not really much more. But then it was also friend, and then it's like, okay, friendly animal that lives outdoors. Mm. Yes. It could be like a horse, it could be something else. Outdoor friendly animal. I thought at some point you maybe said that was cute. But you got that right. I did say it's cute. If I say it in English, human's best friend. Ah, dog. Very dog. cute. How's the dog? Puppy. I could never guess yeah. that. <sighs> it was really, really hard. <laughs> yeah, I think it was very difficult. Yeah, I think it was just what I imagined is that if we get like standalone words, our guess is like at least that makes some sense, mm. but then in a sentence you just, you're lost. 
mm -hmm. I don't understand anything here, maybe yeah. like 5%. But to be honest, I think you guys guessed more <laughs> than I expected. Mm -hmm. And this was really fun experience for me, since I haven't made people guess Finnish before. So it was awesome. I'm happy to share about Finnish. So today we tried to guess the Finnish language. And if you like this video, then press a like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. And we will see you soon. Bye! Bye.